So, the Motorsport game saga is somehow getting worse. And while bigger sim racing outlets are, for whatever reason, not covering this, we do have an ally with Sports Gamers Online. Managing editor Mike Straw has put out a tweet stating, NASCAR is trying to get out of their contract with Motorsport Games, which is a good thing. And Orange Show Speedway track announcer Alan Bailey claims lawyers for NASCAR have actually been in this battle against Motorsport Games for months. Make of that what you will. Mike's article should be coming soon. I will link it in the description when it goes live. But in the meantime, we are going to go on a field trip to the Miami-Dade County Clerk of Court website. While NASCAR and IndyCar haven't filed anything yet, there are two other open lawsuits against Motorsport Games and a third that has been settled out of court. They will be linked in the description below so you can read them in full, but let's just go over them briefly. Lawsuit number one. So analytics company Blue Conic filed a lawsuit against Motorsport Games' parent company Motorsport Network in December of 2021. Blue Conic simply claims Motorsport Network didn't pay them the 27 grand agreed upon for their analytics services. Motorsport Network filed a motion to dismiss because it's in the wrong court. Lawsuit number two. This is the other open one right now, and it's a bit more detailed. So a company called Elida owns a developer called Digital Tales, who was working on a World Superbike game. Motorsport Games contacted Elida, wanting to outright buy Digital Tales to add Superbike to their portfolio of games and licenses. So Motorsport Games told Elida to stop negotiating a sale with other venture firms, and that Motorsport Games would just buy them in due time. So Elida agreed to do that. But Motorsport Games never actually followed through with the purchase. The entire scheme, Elda claims, was a ploy by Motorsport Games to get them to stop working on a Superbike game and kill the company, which, I'll spell it out for you, would therefore free up the Superbike license so that Motorsport Games could acquire it. Motorsport Games filed a motion to dismiss this on technicalities. Now we get to lawsuit number three. This one was settled out of court, but the details are still funny and very, very relevant. So a company called Ascend Financial Services, acting on behalf of 704 Games, sues Motorsport Games in early 2021 for breach of fiduciary duties. Now, in short, that means the CEO didn't do everything in his power to help the shareholders make more money. It's a big deal. And it's strangely what Dimitri's old company, Net Element, got investigated for as well. So it's the summer of 2020, and Motorsport Games learned of a really good deal to purchase at a 98.6% discount the stock of certain minority shareholders, who at the time held 28.7% of the outstanding stock at the company. Ascend, representing 704 Games, claimed Motorsport had a duty as fiduciaries to present that opportunity to the board so the company could repurchase a large block of its own stock at far below its value and offer a substantial, low-cost return to all the company's remaining shareholders. Now, instead, Motorsport Games is accused of hatching a secret scheme to seize that opportunity for themselves and monetize that captured value by launching an initial public offering at Motorsport Games. Motorsport Games is accused of concealing both the share purchase opportunity and their inside information about the IPO from the plaintiff, which is Ascend representing 704, and other minority shareholders until it was basically too late. Now, why would Motorsport Games high-ups such as Dimitri Costco have a reason to do this? Costco is the CEO and executive chairman of Motorsport Games and is highly compensated by Motorsport Games. Pursuant to the terms of his employment agreement with Motorsport, Costco receives a generous compensation package that includes, among other perks and benefits, an annual base salary of half a million dollars, which salary is subject to annual increases of over 100%, as well as additional incentive compensation, including cash payments of up to a million dollars or significant stock options upon the successful consummation of the IPO. Again, settled out of court, but what this outlines is, Motorsport Games exists to get Dimitri Costco rich. And I imagine this is going to get very, very messy if the rumors are true and NASCAR and IndyCar indeed do start filing lawsuits against Motorsport Games and Dimitri Cosgo.